everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we're going to make little omelets and I'm going to just show you this handy dandy little omelet maker I bought through Amazon. It's called Holstein Housewares. You can make two omelets. I already made some this morning. It's already greased and ready to go and hot. So what we're going to do is whip up two different omelets, two eggs per omelet, I am going to throw in one piece of sausage and one piece of bacon for each omelet, some cheese, and onions. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how cool this is. Beat your eggs first. And you'll want to separate them. Two per bowl. It's going to make it a lot easier for them. Hey there, Mr. Miller. I'm showing them how to make omelets. Oh, my. <laughs> Do you want to join me? <laughs> Not really. You've been out mowing. I think I'll let you go ahead. <laughs> You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I'm going to show them how to... Yes? Make a bowl of pretzels. <laughs> make a bowl of pretzels. You get a bowl. <laughs> then you get a container full of store-bought pretzels. The ones with and, peanut butter in. And you slowly dump them into the bowl. <laughs> and then when you think you had enough, you put a couple more in. <laughs> but feed a little bit. Thank you for fingering the ones and then putting them back in there. It'll I, just be you and I. <laughs> I do appreciate it. So grab one piece of sausage per omelet or as many pieces as you want. But you got to be careful how much you fill these omelets here. You don't want to overfill them. So I'm going to use one piece of bacon for each. A few onions. I might have got a little too many there. I'm using shredded cheddar. Just a little bit in each. And then just mix it together. You can also add green peppers, tomatoes, sliced tomatoes, whatever you want. A little salt and pepper. And once this is hot and greased, go ahead and pour kind of even it out. There it is. It's right up to the top. We don't want to overfill. Close it and let it cook for 10 to 12 minutes. And we'll see what we get. Mine's been taking about 10 minutes. As you can see, get something that makes it easy to get it out. Perfect, perfect omelets. These are great. Smothered in maple syrup. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Have a side of toast, maybe a little oatmeal, some grits, whatever you like. Get ready for the next batch. And this is what I'm going to have for dinner. I can eat breakfast for dinner anytime. I can have actually a breakfast food for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Pancakes would be good as a side. Pancakes and omelets. This cost me about $23 on Amazon. It's quick, it's easy, it makes it fantastic if it's just for one to two people. And it doesn't take long to make several, but I'm going to let them totally cool, totally cool, then wrap them in freezer wrap, then put them in a gallon size baggie. All I have to do is in the morning, take it out, unwrap it, put it on a plate in the microwave, nuke it for about two minutes, two and a half minutes, and then you have a delicious omelet at your fingertips in no time at all. Okay, we're each going to have one. Doug just grabs them right off the rack and treats them like a little sandwich, don't you? That's it, yeah. Like a little treat. You know what? I think I forgot to put sausage in that one. Does it look like it doesn't have sausage? It looks like it has no sausage. <laughs> Did I put bacon in Did it? Did you put onions in it? I don't know. I think this might just be an egg one. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's a piece. Ah, no. I got a little bit in there. So what I do is just put a little syrup on mine. 
Anything tastes good with syrup on it. It does. And I'm going to grab this fork. Oh yeah, I can see the cheese. Perfect little omelets. Can you taste the omelet with the syrup on it? Who cares? <laughs> really, who cares? Add uh, anything. Just, just put sugar on it. That yeah, way. sugar. Just add anything you like. Some people put tomatoes in omelets. Would you like tomatoes in yours? No. Peppers would be good. Mm-hmm. You know why? There's no peppers? Because I have one in the fridge. Just too, no, just too lazy to cut it oh, up. Oh, well, there, there you have it. So, so thanks for joining us here once again on D's Delights, and we hope you enjoy your delicious omelets. Put syrup on it. Yeah. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon.